Okay, so, uh, hey everybody, um, today I just wanted to talk to you guys about something really quickly, um, it's not really a makeup product or anything of that nature, it is a, actually a book, this is the Bobby Brown Beauty Rules uh, book. I just got this recently from Chapters, my local Chapters. It was on sale, so I don't know if you have it at yours or uh, if you have another Bo if there's another Bobby Brown book at your local Chapters. But this is the one that they had at mine, and it, like I said, it was on sale. Um, and just you know, it's more. How to, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this, but basically, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it and particularly for uh, younger girls that might be watching this. This is something that if you can convince your parents or maybe you have your own money saved up, this would be a good, fairly good investment for you. Um, there is a lot of information in here. This is actually um, basically a sequel to a book that she'd written ten years before. Um, sort of along the same lines and so this is just a continuation a modernization of it uh, of the previous book and she does actually get um, have at the end because there were girls that she had talked to and worked with within the first book that she talks to and finds out what they've been doing since then um, but like I said, this is sort of like a basic guidelines. Uh, I know for me when I was starting out with makeup, I didn't really have anybody teaching me and things like magazines weren't that helpful because a lot of times what they do is they'd show you the finished result and the products they use, but they wouldn't show you the application. Or they'd tell you, you have to use this and you have to use that. And she's very, Bobby Brown is very good because she is a makeup artist herself. She understands that, and she follows, you know, we follow the same sort of guidelines that if you're using a product you like, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's a professional product, if it's a drugstore product, uh, what she might say, she might be using one of her own products, but use a different product, uh, use a different brand if that's what you like. Um, but there are a few things in this book that I don't particularly care for. Um, and she kind of lays these out almost as rules. Um, but these, I wouldn't say, there are some in here that I wouldn't say follow. Uh, she she talks about um, when you're doing your eyes not to match your hair color to your eyeshadow unless you're a brunette and then you can wear browns. Uh, personally, I don't agree with that. Um, I'm a blonde. I like to wear gold, gold eyeshadow. Lots of brunettes like to wear browns. Uh, there are some f fantastic sort of coppery tones. For example, um, I have a MAC pigment here that would look great on a redhead. Or uh, a great smoky eye or a cat eye on someone who has black hair. The only time that I would agree with that rule is if you dye your hair some sort of, you know, outrageous color like blue or pink or green. You know, because then, then it just starts looking like, you know, you're trying too hard, you're some sort of circus character or something. Um, so I don't agree with that and she lays it out as a rule. Uh, another thing she says is, what was it? <laughs> There's some, there is a few things. Um, she talks about uh, when you're doing your foundation or looking for a foundation, she says look for a yellow tone foundation. I have a pink, when my skin is not tanned, it is very pink, and if you have a pink skin tone, or if you have yellow skin tone and you've ever used a pink foundation, if you have pink or pink skin and you've ever tried using yellow foundation, they don't work together. A pink foundation on a, someone with a yellow skin tone is going to look wrong. It's going to look unnatural, it's going to look fake. 
people are going to know you're wearing makeup if you do that. Same if you're trying to apply a yellow foundation to a pink skin tone. And quite frankly, I, that really surprises me that she even said that because um, as a makeup artist, you would think she would see a vast array of skin tones and know that there are pink skin tones and yellow skin tones. Um, and she has a fantastic line of skin products as well, so you would think that she automatically would know. Another real misstep, in my opinion, that she made in this book was she has, and I mean, I think this was a fantastic idea, and I have to find it. And I have. It's called Global Gorgeousness, and basically this is all about women with different skin tones uh, from different races. So they have uh, they have African American, they have Latina, they have Asian, they have um, they have uh, I believe Indian and Middle Eastern skin tones. But the one that they don't that she doesn't talk about is one that I think is one that she definitely should have, and that was Native American skin tones. She doesn't talk about them at all, um, which to me is kind of a huge misstep considering the fact that they're a large percentage of the population, uh, particularly I would think in North America where I believe this sort of book is more marketed toward. I might be wrong on that part. Um, and she doesn't talk about it and that annoys me especially because she talks about how these other cultures can have blue or orange skin tone, or blue, orange, or green undertones, but that's another one that has a very distinctive undertone. It tends to be a yellow brown. Not pink, not blue, not orange, not green. Brown. Maybe a slight hint of orange or pink, but not, un not like anything else that she talks about in there. And that kind of annoys me. Um, but if you're a young girl, this is a fantastic book anyways, because this talks a lot about diet, exercise, hair, self-confidence, um, it has makeup tips, it has, you know, prom tips or, or graduation picks if you're, or tips if you're, you know, Canadian, because we don't have prom. It's such a hard life. <laughs> But, you know, it's it's great if you're a young girl, and I would definitely recommend you pick up a copy of either this, the Beauty, Bobby Brown's Beauty Rules, or any of her other books, because they are very much geared towards young women, and building their confidence, and having makeup build their confidence, because that's really what it's around for. And, uh, I hope you pick up a copy, and if you do, tell me about it. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.